Hello everyone and welcome back to Bookcraft, the series where my friends and I build things from my favorite books and my own imagination. Let's get back into the story. So today is a very special day on Bookcraft because it's Christmas! Look! The Christmas chests are here and it is the last episode of A Christmas Carol. And it can't come soon enough because I really want to move on to the next book. So let's do the word of the episode. Today's word of the episode is going to be penitence. And penitence is the action of feeling or showing sorrow and regret for having done wrong. I would actually like some penitence from Ms. Reads a lot because she knew I was looking forward to the next book since the summer and yet she allowed it to be checked out. So I want to actually go and uh, and kind of get her to apologize. Ms. Reads a lot. I want Journey to the... S Ms. Reads a lot? Where are you? Hey, Tib Willow. What are you doing? Where's, where's Ms. Reads a lot? And are you okay? I've never seen you stand so still. No, you're not okay. What's wrong with you? Tib Willow? Look at me. What's... <gasps> she left me. Said something about needing a staycation. But I don't know what that means. I'm just a cat. Tib Willow, you can talk? Okay, yeah, something has definitely got into you. And you are not well. Uh, but Ms. Reads a Lot's not here. This is the best news I've ever gotten. I'm going to take my mushroom stew and go upstairs and sit in my room and read the rest of A Christmas Carol, actually. Um, by the way, where's dog ear? Oh, well. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's go ahead and sit down and I will grab... Oh, this is wonderful. No, Ms. Reads a Lot. Grab my stew and, uh, and finish the book. The First of Three Spirits When Scrooge awoke, it was so dark that looking out of bed he could scarcely distinguish the transparent window from the opaque walls of his chamber. He was endeavoring to pierce the darkness with his ferret eyes when the chimes of a neighboring church struck the four quarters, so he listened for the hour. To his great astonishment, the heavy bell went from six to seven and from seven to eight and the Finally, a break from Stacy. Maybe a few nights here will be enough to recharge my batteries and I can work on my memoirs. Oh, I wrote for so long, it's nearly time for bed. This will be nice, an uninterrupted night's sleep away from the station. What woke me up? Nathan? Nathan past day? Get out of my bedroom! And are you floating? I think I can see through you. Hello. Hello? What are you doing here? You're disrupting my staycation. Please leave. No can do reads a lot. I'm not Nathan. I am the ghost of Christmas past. A lot of the Bookcraft viewers noticed your anchor tattoo a few episodes ago. And I think it's time you told the story about when you were in the Navy. No, I don't want to remember that. Why are you doing this? Please leave. The year was 1961. You were a petty officer, third class aboard the USS Constellation. You were walking the deck early one morning with your nose in a book when a moving mast knocked you overboard and into the Pacific. Not only did the ship have to change course to rescue you, putting the entire crew's mission at risk, but the fact that you refused help until a special dive unit was sent to the bottom of the ocean to retrieve your book only made matters worse. You were thrown into the brig and discharged without honor at the next port. It was the first edition of the Velveteen Rabbit. You bounced around biomes for a few years until you wound up at the library in the desert where Stacy met you in the first episode of Bookcraft. 
and she hired you to be the station librarian. You never got over your failed Navy service, and your tattoo is a daily reminder of your failings in the Navy. You need to let your past go, because it's affecting your future. What do you mean? You'll see. What? Nathan, where'd you go? That was weird. I need more sleep. Hmm. <gasps> Present? Present dog wolf? Not another ghost. I am the ghost of Christmas Present. I'm here to show you how rude you are to Stacy. I see nothing wrong with that. It isn't nice. If you are so miserable working at the station, maybe you should try rejoining the Navy. Although that could be disastrous. Why would that be disastrous? You'll see. Wait! What would happen? Come back! Fine. Going back to sleep. I'm <gasps> the ghost of Christmas future. I'm here to show you... <coughs> <clears throat> to show you what happened if you went back into the Navy. Just, just possible? Go on. Where, what, this isn't the Navy. We're still in Bookcraft. Well, you weren't back in the Navy for very long. Tibolo stowed away on a ship with you. When he was discovered, he was left on an island and you never saw him again. You were so distraught, came home only to find Stacy had hired a new librarian at the station. So now you just wander around the world and visit Tib Willow's grave here. What? No! Here lies Tib Willow. Beloved cat, there's a typo on his headstone. I can't let this happen. I love being the station librarian. I can change. I am as light as a feather. I'm as happy as an angel. Hello! Stacy, Nathan, Tib Willow! Ms. Rizalot, yeah, we're here. We're all here. We've been looking for you. Tib Willow's fine. He's feeling much better, aren't you, Tib Willow? Aren't you? Aren't you? God bless us, everyone! Oh, that's so nice, Tib Willow! Ms. Ridula, I heard what you said. So... Does this mean you're gonna be nicer to me now? I had a dream, not a personality change. By the way, you're standing in my personal space. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, sorry, I'll take a, take a step back. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching this Bookcraft episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we're going to take a little bit of a break now in the new year, but we're going to come back when we're ready to start the next book. Until then, Paige and Molly wish you a Merry Christmas. Go read a book.